Well, Davion, uh, you feel like it's kind of a fist fight when you go up against West Virginia to see how tough you can be on the basketball court? Uh, most definitely because um, Culver is a aggressive player. Um, he does a lot of things aggressively, offensively and defensively, but um, the guards is also quick. So I think for all around players, it's, it's sometimes a competition. So yeah, how I agree. You, how did you feel like you matched up against Culver today? Say it again. How did you feel like you matched up against Culver today? Um, I won't say it was very great to 100%, or I wouldn't say it was too bad, but um, I would say it was decent today. Does a game like this motivate you guys to get into the weight room and get stronger? In the uh, most definitely, uh, because, you know, I'm a freshman. Everybody knows I'm a freshman. Um, this is my first time, like, in, in the summer actually lifting and actually being consistent on uh, eating the right things and staying on the diet and uh, getting in shape and in the weight room mostly every other day. And that goes down, you know, after, like, during the season. So, like, you know, you, you're not consistent at uh, getting stronger every day like I want to. So uh, it really mos motivates me to get stronger. And I know some of the freshmen think the same thing and even the older guys think the same thing. I most definitely think, I, I agree on getting stronger for sure. And how do you stem the tide on their run, their big run to start the second half? How do you, how do you prevent those from happening? Uh, just, just running back on transition. I mean, I think most, I'm, I think most of the thing is we just need to uh, play good transition D and also, uh, we, I mean, we know these guys. We we, we know they play, so we know they rose, and we just need to be uh, stay poised and stay focused on uh, on everything and just everything specifically. We just got to stay focused. That's all I got to say for that one. Thank you, Dave, man. Thank you. Next question to Kels Robinette. Hey, Davion, how, what would you say is the hardest thing about playing without Nigel in the lineup? Uh, I mean, we all know Nigel Schrentz. Uh, he, he's really good at shooting. He's a, a very good point guard to pass the ball. He knows how to play. He's, he's a very smart player. So uh, missing that one player, I mean, we, we missed him before. And uh, we missed a couple players before. Like last game, we missed uh, Tone. We missed uh, – it was – a couple more players we missed, but I mean, we just gotta find our, we just gotta find our niche and just keep it consistent. Even if we losing a like the best player or not, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it was it was hard, but I mean, you gotta you gotta bounce back. When you lose a man, you you stand up and fight. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that's what mostly our mindset was when we heard that Nigel was gonna be out. And even though you lost this game, do you feel like do you still feel like momentum is on your side going into the the regular season finale? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we I mean, even though we lost, I mean, we still stand on the ground like we have been all this season. I mean, look at us, look at us in the uh, the beginning of the season, and look at us now. You know what I'm saying? It's been a improved team. Uh, we've been working our butts off in the gym, saying trying to stay consistent, trying to keep our our heads level. So uh, I mean, I feel like everybody's motivated to get better and improve, and that's what mostly we've been trying to do. So, I mean, our next game against Iowa State, I mean, we're just gonna stay, keep with our poise and keep our heads level and like keep improving and keep getting better. I mean, that's all we can do. And that's our, that's that we got to control the control, controllable. And our controllables is the things we have personally and the things we can do as a team. All right, thanks Davion, appreciate it. For sure, no problem. Uh, another question for Michael Goins. Well, Davion, one more. Where do you feel like your biggest area of improvement has come this season? You talking about as a, a team or individually? As you individually. Has improved? Yes. Since the beginning of the season now? Correct. Um, I would say I, I think I'm being uh, – I'm competing way more. Uh, I've I've learned a lot, lot, and I will agree with I agree with that 100. 
uh, I'm comfortable. I'm getting more comfortable now. I mean, the game is coming to me instead of me trying to force the game. So um, I feel like me rebound. I mean, I'm still trying to find my initial rebounding. Uh, I know that's a weakness that I got in my of myself, and I'm still trying to rebound. Um, I feel like me scoring the ball has gotten better. Me setting screens has gotten better. Me and learning plays and uh, knowing the plays has gotten better. I mean, I feel like everything is improving for me. And I feel like I've gotten better. But those are the specific things that I've got on top of my head right now. Did the speed of the game catch you off guard when you initially started playing? Yes, a lot. I mean, I'm, it's, it's really different from uh, playing AAU and Peace Jam and playing AAU with Mo, uh, Mocan or, like, you know, high school. I mean, because, like, I remember high school season, I was just, you know, jogging a lot. It wasn't no sprints, like, 24-7. Uh, AAU, I mean, it was it was sprints here and there. I mean, it was still a fast pace, but it wasn't as fast as college. So um, it, it it most definitely threw me off. And I seen while we worked that hard during the off season to to still you know 